بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد و نسلی اللہ رسول الکریم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ منتھ آف سپٹمبر اینڈ فرام سپٹمبر ٹینتھ ٹو سپٹمبر سکسٹینتھ از سوسائڈ اویئرنیس منتھ اینڈ سوسائڈ اویئرنیس ویک وی ہیو ٹو برنگ اویئرنیس امنگ پیپل ٹو پریونٹ دیم فرام کمیٹنگ سوسائڈ ون ان ہنڈریڈ پیپل die by suicide in North America and suicide is the fourth leading cause of death for people uh, ages from 12 to 29 it does not mean that people younger than 12 or older than 29 they do not commit suicide they commit suicide too and these at uh, the suicide is committed due to various reason among children it could be bullied and they have some other pressure or in young people they cannot take you know some criticism or there are various factors i'm not a psychiatrist but but there are various factor which cause a person to come take his own life and commit suicide islam strictly forbids uh from committing suicide and that's why it is haram it is illegal it is not allowed in islam to commit a suicide allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-baqarah verse number 195 bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim wa la tulqu bi aydikum ila at-tahlukati wa ahsinu inna allah yuhibbu al-muhsinin do not let your hands throw you into destruction by withholding and do good for allah certainly loves good doers and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in another place in surah an-nisa verse number 29 wala taqtulu anfusakum inna allah bikum rahima and do not kill each other or yourself surely allah loves the merciful and allah is the most merciful allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he also said on one of the hadith that your body has a right over you your eyes have a right over you and allah uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said that if anyone who commits suicide by any means he would go to hell and he would stay there forever and ever so we should abstain from committing suicide and if anybody is thinking and we know that the person is inclined towards committing suicide we should help him to get out of this uh, situation into normal life so that he should not take such severe uh, action where there is no return back allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-maida verse number 32 that if anyone who saves one's life it means he has saved the entire humanity and if anyone who kills one person it means he has killed the entire humanity so we have to we have to work on that one that we should prevent people from committing suicide because this is one of the biggest sin and because if one person he or she commits suicide that's it there is no coming back of a person because sometimes it happens i'm giving you my own example sometimes i'm very down very helpless very hopeless even but when the time passes i say well the problem was so easy we we did it in a very easy way so you see this one it's raining outside mashallah and this is the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is descending allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves his people and the taking the lives of anyone it's purely the domain of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no one has right to take somebody's life except some lawmakers when they do somebody is executed or prosecuted through the law this is a different story because they are custodian of that law so but otherwise outside of the law we are not allowed to take our life or somebody else's life life is very precious so this is the month month of september as we say as i've said earlier or the week of se- this week uh, september 10th to september 16th is a suicide awareness week and suicide awareness month so if we have if we ever have any thought just we should go and consult some psychiatrist or 
consult my imam or consult my family members that these thoughts are coming into my mind so that a person should be treated and that some therapy should be provided because such thought comes when a person is going through some difficult time and he thinks or she thinks that there is no way now that's the end but actually this is just the beginning of another difficult life you know the life there are different phases it's just like a roller coaster sometimes we are going up sometimes down sometimes fast sometimes slow but actually the you know there is a solution there is always light on the other side of the tunnel at the end of the tunnel so we should always think optimistically not passive we should never be pessimistic and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us and always always stay in a company do not isolate yourself because once we isolate ourselves because our thinking our capa uh, thinking capability is limited man or a human is a social animal he also learns from the different from different people so when we are living in a society where we are learning from each other that's a good thing and always adopt you know i always join good company not a, a company of bad people so again stay positive stay optimistic stay constructive and stay among the people those who are ready to help you and if any one of us or any one of you have any negative thought or any thought of taking their lives or you know suicide kind of thing so just get off that that moment and consult someone life is very precious and especially your life and my life is very precious we should not hurt ourselves stay safe stay blessed assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh